take two. But anyways, um, back at it again. Like I said, try to stay on the wall, see what's going on. I know it's a lot going on in the world. So I figure I'll do, do some of my little due diligence while I got some time to bring some of these things out. I was talking to my brother, one of my good brothers the other day, man. And we were just talking about, uh, you know, the things that we like to do in the ministry and things like that. And I, and I always had this uh, for years. I've been doing videos, man, for years. Uh, you know, kind of dabbling in some green screen and all these other different things. But I want to get back into doing it. So that is my plan here uh, in 2022. So stay tuned for that. Uh, the Wake Up Call will be coming back. Uh, it's always been there. Just never used it as a title. But, you know, being a watchman, man, we got to stay on the wall. And so many have either went to sleep or came off the wall. But we got to be able to see the times uh, because the Lord says, uh, lift your head up to the hills because your redemption draws nigh. Uh, so lift your eyes into the hills from which come your help and your help coming from the Lord. But with that being said, we still have to be able to pay attention to the times and discern the times and the seasons. Because the Lord says in the last days, man won't be able to discern the times and the seasons that we're living in. So, you know, it has to be people. You know, not just myself, there's others out here that are doing these type of videos or doing these things like this, just to kind of keep you aware of what's going on so you don't get caught in the snare of the, the principalities and the powers that we fight against every day. All right, so bird flu found on uh, in the poultry farm in Indiana, nearly 30,000. I just looked at our article, said 26, but I guess it went up. 30,000 uh, turkeys killed to contain the spread. So they had to take out a lot to contain the spread. So I just want you to check out this video. It's 45 seconds long. Israeli officials have marked a recent bird flu outbreak as the deadliest wildlife disaster in the country's history. At least 5,200 migratory cranes of the half million which travel through Israel on their way to Africa lie dead in the Hula Valley as authorities struggle to contain the site. A spokesperson for the Hula Lake Park said the workers were removing carcasses as quickly as possible to prevent infections from spreading to its other wildlife. This year, an estimated 30,000 cranes remained in the country for the winter. It is believed that those infected caught it from poultry coops. An agricultural ministry spokesman said half a million chickens in the area were to be slaughtered. To All right, so that's just the ones that are being slaughtered, like he was talking about, to control or contain the situation. But, I mean, like I said, we're looking at the shortages everywhere, uh, especially in America, man. You know, um, doing the due diligence, man, studying the scriptures, for the ones that ain't to know, you get where I'm going when I say this. When the Lord talks about the, the harlot, uh, she was sitting on uh, the, seven, the seven beasts uh, and the one that had the ten crowns. Uh, we know Babylon, Mr. Babylon. We're talking about, he's talking about America. That's that's us, plain and simple. And this country is falling apart inside out. It's being destroyed inside out because it has allowed so many different things. You know, I, I can go on, but you, you know where I'm going with it. But when we when we look at it, uh, all we, and I said this before, and I say this all the time, you know, he says, if my people that are called by his name shall humble themselves. And when he said my people, you got to remember, he's not talking about the whole world. He's talking about his people. But what does judgment start first? It starts first at the house of God, right? If it starts first with us, we're being judged even as I speak. Oh, yeah. I ain't talking about the day of judgment, but I'm talking about that judgment that starts first at the house of God. Uh, why would I say that? And I'm, I'm going somewhere with this. I'm going to get to the other videos. But my point is... Is because if it starts with us, then it's like cleaning up your house, right? You know, you're, you're expecting company to come. You're expecting someone to come, whatever, if it's today or the weekend or whatever. You're expecting them to come. So if your house is messy, you're going to do what? You're going to clean it up. <laughs> you're going to clean it up before they come because you don't want nobody to see your mess. You don't want nobody to see your trash. That's just like Christ. He says in the book of Matthew 25, if I'm correct, uh, when he's talking about the five wise and the five foolish, but that's somewhere in... 25 through 10 through 17. Uh, I'm going to pull it up here on the scriptures here in a minute. Uh, he says, if the man of his household would have been uh, awake and been paying attention when a thief was coming, he would not allow his house to be broken into. Mm -hmm. We can't allow our house to be broken into. 
spiritually and physically. We need to be paying attention. But so many, he said, Brother uh, brother Paul said, it, so many have creeped in the body of Christ and they have wooed the people with these soothsaying, with all these different magical words and big words and all these other different things. They have creeped in the body of Christ and they have tainted the church. And there's so much complacency going on just even in that, man. I can just, I can keep going on, but I'm just telling you, when we see these things going on, he says that you will know they're like birth pains. But the more they start happening, the more it start happening, the more it start happening, the closer that he comes. Amen. So I got another one here I want to show you. Um, this is talking about um, earthquakes, not earthquakes, I'm sorry, volcanoes that happened just in 2020 alone by itself. And one, we only been in, what is this, February 17th, 16th, 7th, 16th. So we only been in this year two and a half months. And look at all what's going on. Overall, 48, I got the highlighted uh, stencil here. Over 48 volcanoes were uh, conducting uh, um, volcano eruptions, states, as, 20, as of January the 27th, 2022. An eruption marked as counting does not always mean the present day of activity, but it indicates at least the eruptions and events with a breaking of three months or more. That's a lot going on all at one time. And I'm going to click on this here and I want you guys to see what I'm showing you. Look at what's going on down in South America. From South America, from, let me go here, let me back out a little bit. From Mexico, from Mexico all the way to the Gulf Coast, we see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eruptions at one time then you go down to panama through panama city going into colombia there's one going all the way down through colombia i'm not going to jackknife that word so you see what it says there i'll let you do the reading on that one um brazil nothing peru uh there's one in peru and lima then we're going all the way out of south america we got a couple more down towards the tail the tail end of south america you got two more there, close to Chile. They what to say Chile and Chile. Then you got some in Africa. Got one, two in Africa. In Uganda, two in Uganda. Then we go over there in Africa, right over, up the hook right there. There's no, another one, South Sudan. All right, and now it, it keeps going, guys. It keeps going. We got more over here in Rome, close to Rome, in the Indian Sea. Just think about it in the Indian Sea, how all that, you know, causes uh, tsunamis and, you know, the ripples in the water and all that stuff, man. It's, it's a lot going on. So you got two there, right? And then let's let's bounce out a little bit. Let's see what's going on over here in Chinatown. Anything over there in Chinatown? Nope, but you got a lot going on. Look at all, look at all these eruptions that are going on around Australia. Now, we remember a couple of years ago, Australia was engulfed in fire. The whole, seemed like the whole continent was just like this... A wall of fire. I think what was it like 1.2 or 2. Point some odd million animals died in Australia alone. It's crazy. Um, and we can that rabbit hole goes deep too. You know, we can go so many ways on that. Um, what else? And it's like a ring of fire if you look at it, all the way around from Asia, from Australia, Asia, all the way around to North America, back to us again. A ring of fire, man. Not much going on over there in Europe and Asia, but everywhere else around the world, it's going down. So, that being said, that's a lot of the things. Going back to what he said in Matthew 24, as in the days of Noah, you know, Noah preached the gospel, a righteous, righteous message, that it will be just like those days, but will be two times what they were. And man, oh man, you can see it. All right, next article here. Wars with Russia and Ukraine. I got a video that I wanted you guys to check out. This was just a day ago. So this is what China would do if they would invade. And Russia versus America, we know, is not a new rivalry. It's a rerun of the 20th century. But this time, there is a big difference. 
This time there's a third player, and this third player has no stakes in Europe, no military presence, no strategic influence, not yet. But it's watching the standoff closely. I'm talking about China. What would China do if war breaks out? The past offers some clues. In 2014, when Putin annexed Crimea, China was on the fence. They did not recognize Russia's occupation. At the same time, they blamed the West for creating this crisis. And 2022, this year, could be a repeat of that. China cannot publicly endorse an invasion. They cannot support a war. What they can do is this. A, blame the West for instigating the crisis, and B, help Putin navigate Western sanctions. They've done it before, in 2014, and they will do it again if war breaks out. In fact, Chinese state media is already doing the groundwork for this. Let me show you some headlines. Here's what one of them says. U.S. needs Ukraine crisis to legitimize its military presence in Europe. Here's another one. Instigating Ukraine crisis serves U.S. interests. You see the pattern. And this will be China's first step. Blame the West. Step number two will be undermining Western sanctions. It's something of a Chinese speciality. America's rivals are China's business partners, whether it's Iran, Venezuela, or North Korea. We saw an indication of this at the opening ceremony of the Winter Olympics. Vladimir Putin was also in attendance. He signed an important energy deal with Xi Jinping. China will buy oil and gas worth $117 billion from Russia. $117 billion. It's simple logic. If Europe shuts the tap, all of that Russian gas will have to go somewhere, and that somewhere could well be China. And the numbers support this plan. In 2021, China-Russia trade reached $146 billion. That was up almost 36% from 2020. So Xi and Putin are sinking their economy. Even Washington is aware of this plan. If we see foreign companies, including those in China, uh, doing their best to backfill U.S. export control actions, uh, to evade them, uh, to um, uh, get around them, uh, I wouldn't want to speculate on uh, what those tools are, but we do have tools uh, that can address that and that would seek to account for that. That's a warning for Chinese companies. If you help Russia, we will target you. The problem is such threats may have worked in 2014. Back then, Chinese companies needed the Western market. Today, the equation has changed. China won't think twice before violating Western sanctions. But what's in it for them? Vladimir Putin is getting a market for his oil. He's getting relief from sanctions. What is Xi Jinping getting? Well, he's getting two things. Number one, a template for invading Taiwan. China is looking for America's weaknesses. How eagerly are they supporting Ukraine? What kind of weapons are they sending? Will U.S. soldiers get involved? These answers will determine China's own plans for Taiwan. If America's response is weak, it will embolden China. Plus, it's a valuable distraction for them. In 2021, all the focus was on Beijing on their genocide in Xinjiang, on their piracy in the South China Sea, and their attempts to cover up the Wuhan virus origins. But this crisis in Ukraine is a breather for China, a chance to plan a sneak attack. And once again, history offers clues. Let me take you back to 1962. The whole world was focused on the Caribbean. The Soviet Union was deploying ballistic missiles in Cuba. It was an existential threat for America. From Cuba, the Soviet Union could hit almost all of eastern U.S. Simply put, it was the closest the West came, or the world came, to nuclear Armageddon. Guess what was China doing in 1962? China was attacking India. Chinese troops advanced along the border. In the western sector, they attacked Ladakh, and in the east, they attacked the NEFA, the Northeast Frontier Agency. It was a surprise attack. We cannot rule out something similar this time. Maybe a move on Taiwan or something along the line of actual control. Who knows? That's benefit number one for China. Benefit number two, China is getting a much needed Pacific partner. And this will entice Xi Jinping. He has more rivals than friends in the Indo-Pacific. The Quad, the AUKUS, the ASEAN, all of them are working against China. So Xi Jinping needs a Pacific ally. And who better than Vladimir Putin? Russia's Pacific coastline is 4,500 kilometers long. More importantly, it's a veteran naval power. Russia's Pacific fleet was established in 17...
Man, I hope y'all listening to this, man. On this, this is a pre-record, man. But like I said, you know, it's coming out. I'm gonna put it on YouTube, and then I'm sharing it. I, I, I don't know. My hands about tied up with Facebook, but now again, that's another day for another time. Um, but what I'm saying to you, and I hope y'all listen to what she's saying. There, there is some holes in our armor here in, in this country. Uh, like I said, man, Mr. Babylon, she gonna fall. She gotta fall some kind of way, and she being corrupted from the inside out. And every other nation sees what's going on. Every other nation understands what's going on. For some odd reason, we still sitting over here with these fear tactics and got everybody around here scared. But neither here nor there. You see it, like she said, what it was, like a uh, some odd billion dollars? Just with oil alone with Vladimir Putin and what they're doing over there? They, they making big moves. Big moves, man. While we over here shutting down our pipeline. Shut down pipeline, people losing jobs, folks ain't going to work, everybody masked up, looking crazy. Yes. And they're talking about another one coming out in March. It's like it's like